back to our channel today. Hey everyone. We're just cleaning. <laughs> yes, we are in full cleaning mode. Heck yeah, baby. Today. <laughs> this table out here gets so dirty. Oh my dirty. gosh, it gets so spotty just because like the rain hits it, the humidity hits it. I wipe it off every day. I know, day, a lot of dust collects. Every day it's just like yeah. so gross. Super so. gross. We're getting the clean on though today. I know, then my next step out here is these windows get super oh, dirty yeah. and gross. I need to get like a heavy duty scrubber to get those going, but... Anyways, we're attempting you guys to get things cleaned up around here a little bit. Speaking of clean, one thing I am not <laughs> doing right now is vacuuming. Heck yeah, baby. We got our Yeetie going. We call this Mr. Yeetie. One thing you guys may notice, they can actually go from hardwood floors onto soft carpet super easily. We have talked about this before, but this little thing is awesome. Like, I love it so much. It can not only vacuum, but it mops as well. Yeah, it does have a it mopping section. Like I know. If you have been curious about an automatic vacuum, I would highly recommend this one. We've tried a few in the past. Yeah, we've tried a few. This Some one's of them quite I have the not house. been a fan of. This one even yeah. maps out our entire apartment. You can actually have different zones, so you can say like, okay, don't clean my room, but clean this room, yeah. etc. You can set a time schedule all from the app, which is awesome. Oh, it's awesome. It's seriously like such a great little thing to have. So we got to get this area cleaned up. Luckily, we don't have to do any of that because it's doing it right now for us. Let me say one more thing about this because this is one thing I was always concerned about with automatic vacuums is it like hitting into all my sideboards and furniture. This thing has sensors on it. And yeah. So it does not like bang into things. Yeah. And rough things up which is awesome. So right now it's just vacuuming the matte version that we had set up and then it just self empties itself right here and we can easily just dump this out into the trash. We will make sure to put a link for it down in the description below if you're interested. But now I need to finish outside and then I really, really want to get going on organizing a lot of my kitchen cupboards. I feel like I just have a ton of clutter. Living here in a small apartment gets very tricky when you try and store stuff. So that is my next time. Well, you guys, Britt and I decided to come to the beach because we thought it was going to be nice and cool and calm <laughs> with no wind. Even though it's super windy and my hat is literally about to blow off any second, it is so beautiful. It's just a little slice of heaven right now. Oh, yeah. We thought yesterday we came down. It was so clear. We were so excited for today. Today, it's a little more windy, so it's bringing in stuff, but it's still absolutely beautiful. Oh, I could sit here all day long, not move my little chair. I got my <laughs> water. This is the right way to start the weekend. Also, you guys, seriously, thank Thank you so much for all your comments on our video about all the side effects going on with my Clomid. It's so good to know I'm not alone. It sounds like it's way more common than I even thought. So thanks for sharing all your stories. The sweet messages, some of them made us laugh so hard. We essentially have just been chilling here at the beach. It was really cool. We actually saw these kite surfers get their gear together and then try to get up in the air. It looks like it was maybe too wavy or too windy. I don't know the case. And then this was really interesting. We actually saw a helicopter hover really close to the ground. In fact, when it passed the buildings, it was even beneath the buildings. That, that's how close to the water it was, which was really surprising. We've never seen anything like that before. We've also been watching some paddleboarders. This one guy in particular, he is really good. We actually saw him walking into the water and we we're thinking, what in the world is this guy doing? There's no way he's gonna be able to stand up out there. Not only was he able to stand up, but he's surfing the waves. Like, it's so cool. Cool. We've already been here for a few hours, so I think we're gonna pack it up here in just a little bit. Trying to relax as much as we can because this weekend is gonna be jam-packed with stuff. This moment right now is kind of the calm before the storm. Dog. We're gussy dog. Gussy dog. Jared always makes fun of you for calling it gussy dog. But we decided to come out for a fun dinner tonight. We're Heck trying yeah. to get a new place that's actually right by our place. Yeah. It's called Seasons 52. Which is crazy. We, like, we've lived here for like a year and a half and we're now just finally coming to this place. It's popular because it's really close to the beach. It's in yeah. a mall. It's called the Gallery Mall. And there's quite a few restaurants here. So anyways, we'll head in and see what we Well, this is the first. We just sat down. I think this is the first restaurant we can actually see where we live. That's crazy if you think about. It's pretty. There's yeah. I mean, look at 
look at this. Yeah, super pretty patio. It's a very cool atmosphere, there's no question. So as we mentioned, there's quite a few restaurants in this mall. This being one of them, there's a, a kind of a more upscale place called Capital Grill. We have not been there yet. And then there's two others we haven't tried, and there's a PF chain. Speaking of first, we just ordered basically half of the menu, <laughs> and it's all appetizers. You can say we're hungry. We are looking at it, and the entrees look good too, but so many of like their flatbreads, their starters, their soup. Look at this summer corn, I this know. watermelon and tomato salad we got. We got a Chipotle barbecue shrimp flatbread and this wood grilled corn. I know, bacon. seriously delicious. We got this one as well. We're doing that instead of ordering like mains, so yeah. we can kind of try a little bit of everything. Here. I know, and then maybe even order a little more. So I've been reading a ton of your guys' comments about side effects of Clomid. I've seen hunger, which I've totally noticed. Exhaustion. I feel like after I worked out, I was beat. I had to lay down on the ground. I got a new nickname for Brittany. It's called Clo. <laughs> Because am I getting Brittany or Clo right now? You guys! It was funny. That's funny. I laughed. That's good. You guys know that's good. I mean, you guys all know how sweet Jared is. He really is the best. But also, we like to laugh and have fun. Yeah. So at times, you know, you just gotta laugh about it. All right, this is the lobster bisque that just arrived. Brittany's gonna have the first of it. Is it good? For okay. Real? I think it's really good. So this is the barbecue shrimp pineapple pizza this flatbread. And this is the bacon and corn. Okay, babe, which one are you trying first? I'm going with this one. This is the one I chose. That's, he chose the bacon corn one. It's good? <laughs> Yay! I'm a big barbecue chicken pizza. Never had barbecue shrimp. Oh my god. <laughs> These are wow. Next up on Brit and Jared's <laughs> kitchen, we got a watermelon salad with feta and a lime dressing. Looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, let's have Jared try this. I think I'll love this, but I'm curious to see if Jared likes it. I got a little bit of everything there. <laughs> you guys didn't know you were getting a food tasting today, did you? <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Yes, I think we saved the best for last. These are shrimp crab mushrooms. Oh my gosh, it's like, wow, wow look, look at that. that. That's a big bite. Yeah, a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> then your mom did you talk about with your mouth full. <laughs> you guys, that was the quickest we've ever mm -hmm. gone through dinner. Oh, by far, less it was like hour. less than an hour in and out with all the food we ate. Would we recommend it? I'd say yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll definitely have to go back. We'll maybe go back. We'll give it yeah. another try. One thing that's kind of nice that we finished dinner so early that we can actually have time for dessert right now. You guys, we were kind of laughing. Everyone in there when we were eating at that time. <laughs> Senior citizen over dis the age of discount. 65, I will say. <laughs> for we, sure. And we recognize quite a few of them from our walk because yeah. there's a senior living center across the street from us and we recognize a lot of them. So that was kind of fun. Just like that, we're back, baby. We're back with our fitter. <laughs> Mom, Dad had a little date night. Nice yeah, yeah, and it was so nice without you this time. <laughs> no, I'm so sad that we can't bring it. I know. Oh, I forgot to ask if they Oh, dang it, yeah, we should have. We should have, yeah. I didn't ask him that. But you guys, we did stop for a little sweet treat on the way home. Yes. Vampire Penguin for Jared, <laughs> and then in the same parking lot as a Starbucks, and I am a sucker for <laughs> their cake pops. The yeah. So we ate our dessert, are enjoying the sunset, and we just got something super exciting in the mail. You guys, this is really literally the sweet, sweetest yeah. thing. It was really cool. It touched Jared a lot. It touched both of us a yeah. lot. You guys are just so thoughtful, and the amount of effort that, you know. Yeah, the amount of effort that went into this is like incredible. It's so thank you very, very much. And I just wanted to read this card real quick. It's actually, it actually says, Dear Britt, says, can you please give this card to Jared? I made it so he could frame it to look at and to remind him of Papa Doug. You guys. And she said, I love your channel. Love Liz from Scotland. So this is not only from Scotland, but she made it herself. You guys, Liz from Scotland, you are incredible. Look at that. She rhinestoned all of these rhinestones here on the lighthouse. She covered it. This is incredibly thoughtful and kind of you, Liz. So thank you, thank you very much. Yes, and just like the thought of the lighthouse. Yeah, and it's very cool. Look at how she even literally used different colors, like yeah. the brighter yellow to like faded, all these different colors down here in the rocks and water. Like, it's incredible. So that kind of leads us into the next thing we wanted to talk about. So we mentioned this earlier this week, but we used to do something called Fam Fave Fridays, and we have not done it in 
quite a while. Yeah, it's been a long time. It used to be just fan phase, but we tried to do one every day, and it was just way too hard to yeah, do Yeah, it was but. a little tricky to do every day. So we, yeah, that is right. So we decided to call it Fan Fave Fridays. We are gonna pick one of you guys who is subscribed and who commented on any of our videos put out that week. Yeah. And so first to kick it off, I mean, Liz, we have to send you I, something. I, yeah, of course. Liz, you went above and beyond, not only to make this, but to send it to us. Like, it came from Scotland. I'm looking at the customs declaration. Like, this is incredible. So nice. So, Liz, you are our first Fan Fave Friday. Yeah. As well as we got to pick someone that commented yeah, on one of So, our other Fan Fave is from Mary Todd. Mary, your message made us laugh so hard. It was hilarious. She was talking about, you guys will have to go read her comment, but she was talking about Clomid and how she had a friend who was going through the same thing, and her husband would say, I never know who I'm going to get. It was so funny. She said, In the meantime, Jared, I put away any sharp objects. <laughs> She's like, please maintain your sense of humor and love through this. I like, thought it was so funny. It was so good. And that's when I started calling Brittany Blow and Brit. <laughs> you guys, he's totally teasing. We are trying to have some humor through all this. You gotta laugh in life, right? So, anyways, congratulations. Please email us at hello at jaredandbrit.com and we will get you your merch sent out. Yeah. Well, you guys, I think that is gonna do it for us tonight. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have more fun stuff coming up. Tomorrow's gonna be busy. We have such a busy day. We're yeah. in charge of a beach day for 50 people. Yeah. So make sure you come back. We gotta go shopping. I gotta prep stuff. Tonight we just took it kind of chill because tomorrow's gonna be so crazy. But we love you all so much. <laughs> Thanks for being part of our family. We'll see you all next time. See you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye.